What's up, weirdos? We're back in Miss Survival, and today is a big hunting day. We're gonna go kill the bear. Uh, but first, I'm just kind of cleaning up the trash here in the town and making sure all these bandits are dead. I think I got all of them. I don't know. There's there's so many of them, and they they just they move around so quickly. So sometimes you miss them, and then they then you end up getting shot. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm just uh, I'm just kind of walking around making sure that I don't see anybody. Up, oh, yeah. See, there's one more right over here. All right, uh, let's get out Zabo and, uh, yeah, there we go. Take him out. He's dead. I think that's the last one. I, I don't think there's any more. I went ahead and I just made a bunch of basic arrows because uh, I was losing the nice arrows. And I really don't want to, I really don't want to lose them. So I just made a bunch of these and uh, I've been using those. I don't know how this door keeps opening. I know I haven't been opening it. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, the survivors, I don't think they were opening that, so I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, so I'm gonna grab as much stuff as I can from these bandits. Uh, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the arrows. Actually, I, I probably should grab the arrows, shouldn't I? Um, let's use the spear. That's a little bit better than the sledge. Yeah, because, I mean, they, they, they are cheap arrows, but at the same time, you know, I did spend an hour making them. Eh, uh, you know what? No big deal. I don't care. I just gotta make sure I don't get shot. Alright, sugar. Do you have an arrow in you? I think those arrows disappear, though. For the most part. Hey, can, can you, uh, can you flip over? Yeah, I, I think those arrows disappear whenever you, uh, you shoot them. At least the basic arrows. Alright, some more ammo here. There's a carrot. There's a gun. A bunch of dead bandits over here. I think I shot some arrows this way. Oh, there's a gun right there. Here's some ammo. There's a gun. So there was a bandit over here. Yeah, here's an arrow right here. Um, there's another one right there. Okay. All right, let's check these ones over here. Oh, more carrots. We might be able to make some vegetable stew. If I can find some potatoes, I think we can do that. Because we got lots of carrots here. I think we have a couple broccoli still. Alright, let's see if we can flip you over. Uh, there we go. Uh, no arrows. Alright, this dude's got an arrow in him, though. And some salt. Alright, good deal. Good deal. And uh, did I check you already? I think I did. Alright. So I think that is it for the bandits. There's this one guy that, that was over here. He's got a gun right there. I mean, I'm probably going to have to make a separate... Uh, chest for guns and stuff like all the uh, broken guns that I find because I, I don't really uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all that stuff because I already have a bunch of them like if we go up here I think these lockers are already full oh yeah <laughs> they're already full and I don't think these are really useful at all so I, I don't think I can I don't think I can harvest them yeah I can't harvest them for anything so I don't know I don't really think they're any useful. I might just end up just trashing them, honestly. It's probably probably what I'm going to have to do. This is a good gun right here, though. So we will put this one in here. And uh, this gun is good, so we'll put this one in here, too. Uh, you know what? Let me... Uh, yeah, that, that'll be good. We'll put that one in there. And then the pistol. That's good. We'll put that in there. All right. These weapons parts, we can actually use these, I believe. Um, but the broken shotgun, really no use for all these. So I can stack that, I think. Why can't I stack that? Broken pistol. Oh, that's a broken pistol. Alright, well, we can toss that. Alright, and then I'm just going to toss all these guns. Because I, I, I don't have any use for them. I really don't. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the sugar in here. Toss the salt in there. Uh, we can throw... You can see we got two broccoli here. Uh, we'll throw the carrots in here with the broccoli. And then I've got some space in here, so I'll throw the beef can in here, the candy bar in there. Got an apple here that's going to go bad. I'm going to put that in with this stuff. Okay. And uh, hopefully we can get some potatoes today. Got some more water here. I'm going to go ahead and have a little drink. I don't know whose lips were touching it, but uh, we'll just... Toss in there. I'm probably just going to start throwing out these bottles, too, because uh, I don't think I can harvest those, either. Yeah, we could probably just throw that out. 
pull that out of there so I don't lose it. Alright, and we'll toss this stuff. I don't need it. I don't need it. Throw it all out. Alright, there we go. Uh, now the, uh, the arrows... Um, I, I decided to use the basic arrows against the bandits. I'm gonna need to get another chest for all that. But, uh, let's go ahead and take these ones out and swap them out for the other ones. There we go. Grab you guys, and then we'll toss these ones in here. Okay. And throw these in the quiver. These are good to have. These, uh, the, the hunting arrows. I would much rather have those on me whenever I go out. And, oh man, we are we're running out of space again, aren't we? Alright, we really need to find that revolver. I think that's uh, probably uh, number one. If we can find that... I'm going to throw these other guns in here. I don't need all these broken shotguns. <laughs> I really don't. So we'll toss that. Okay, and then we're going to take these batteries with us, and uh, let's see, let's check our knife, see how that is a 70%, the axe is 42%, okay, I just want to make sure I was all set for uh, killing the bear, and I should probably, do I have enough space? I have enough space, maybe I should make another locker, you know what, I think we have a couple lockers in the, uh, in the truck right now, so I think we're good, I probably should eat before we go, that might be a good idea. Let's see. Yeah, we should probably eat. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm going to have this apple. And, uh... Maybe uh candy bar. Let's see. What's the lowest percentage here? Uh, we got 60%. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Alright, that, that's a little bit better. So, let's go on out. We need to get a bear. And, and unfortunately... Uh, it's already 8 in the morning, so I like to be up and about and hunting by like 5 in the morning. That way I, I eliminate any chance of a mist, or I, I severely limit it. It doesn't mean I completely eliminate it, but uh, it's, it's much less likely that, I, that we're going to get a mist whenever I'm out there at like 5 in the morning butchering the bear. So let's head on out. Now, the the only downside about being near the town is uh, the bears are very far away. you got to drive basically the whole way across the map. I guess, you know what, while we're, while we're at it, let's have old Scotty boy do some work. What do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, what's going on here? This doesn't look right. All right, let me talk to you. Assign work, cut down trees, and we're going to have you go for three hours. All right? Get to it, buddy. All right. Let's see where he goes. He's going to go that way. All right. As long as he stays over on this side, I think he's okay, because it seems like any time he goes over there, he gets stuck. So let's hope that he stays over on this side, and uh, we can get lots of logs cut. I don't know. Scott, Scott is a, he's an interesting character. I don't know if he's all there, so I guess we're going to find out. But, uh, yeah, let's head on over to probably the gas station, the, the gas station on the far east side of the map. It's probably the, uh, probably the best bet. We could go up to bear territory. There's plenty of bears up there. There's usually two bears up there, actually. But uh, I, I think we're just going to... We, we just need one. That will be more than enough. We could kill some chickens, but... Uh, I think I think I want dried meat because we we don't have any dried meat as of right now. Oh gosh, okay, be careful. You know what? I should probably save. Yeah, you know what? Save, just in case. Okay, and did I turn that off? I accidentally turned that off. Okay. And back down the main road. Now we haven't really done done a whole lot of looting over here. There there's um. There's the army camp over here that we looted, but there's a bunch of houses over there that probably need looted. There's also a bunch of zombies in those houses, so um, we'll probably have to come back with uh, a suitcase or something. I could build some doors, but I think suitcase would probably probably work. 
you can just put that in front of the uh, in front of the door, and uh, that usually uh, keeps them from attacking you. They can't get outside. But you got to remember, some of those houses have two doors, so they could actually get out, even if you put a suitcase there. So <laughs> be careful. Got a lot of cars over here. I might want to smash those up on the way back. Just get a few extra components. That might be a good idea. There's still so many places we haven't looted yet. I'd like to get going on that. I don't think we've looted the motel yet, either. Alright, now where's the bear at? Let's, uh, let's hop out here. Climb up. Where are you at, buddy? Where's the bear? I don't see him over there. I don't see him down this way. Sometimes that means he is over... Oh, I see him. I see the bear. We gotta bring him over here. Um, I could shoot him. That would definitely bring him over here. It's a long shot, though. Um... I need to sprint over to the bus. Eh. Oh, oh, there we go. We got him. All right. Run. Keep running. Keep running. There he is. Hey there, buddy. You can't get me. You can't get me. And there we go. That, that was pretty quick, actually. That didn't take that many pokes. I think it's I think because I got him with the hunting arrow, that definitely helped. Uh, so I'm gonna put that back in the quiver. We're down to nine hunting arrows. That sucks. I, I wish we had more. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna pull the truck over here, so it's a little bit closer in case we do get a mist. Okay. And then we're gonna butcher old Yogi over here. I guess I should turn this off. There we go. What's up there, buddy? What's up there, Daryl? I'm gonna call you Daryl. Yeah, we're gonna call you Daryl. What's up there, Daryl? Let's, uh, let's get out our... Did we lose our other spare? I think we did. I'm gonna put that there. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and butcher and get as much meat from him as I can. Uh, we're gonna use a knife because that's the best tool to use. Uh, you can see if we, t if we use an axe, it's gonna take five and a half hours, so... Versus the knife, which is two hours, so we're going to do that. And if we get a miss, we're going to have to go hide somewhere. Or just hop back into the truck and drive away, but I really don't want to do that. Alright, and uh, we got a little bit more meat on the head, so we'll go ahead and uh, do that. We're going to use the axe for this. 30 minutes. There we go, excellent. Alright, and the other thing that I need is fat. We're going to make some more biofuel, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Use the knife. And you know what? No mist. I like that. I like that. Um, I don't really need the guts at this point, and I don't really need the hide. So I don't think we're going to mess with that. Yeah. Don't need it. So I'm going to throw this stuff in here, and uh, we'll go ahead and throw the fat in there too, we'll throw the extra fat in there, and now that the bear is dead, we can actually loot this place up a little bit, so let's put the uh, spear away and grab the sledgehammer, I'm going get to get a few more uh, car parts. Okay, there we go. Lots of scraps and components. There's another car over here that we can smash. Might as well do it, you know? Now that the bear's out of the way. We could go over to the motel, but I'm not really feeling that just yet. That's that's, that's like a whole episode right there, because there's some zombies in there we got to take care of. Uh, i got a little bit of gas here. I need to get, uh, grab as much gas as I can. Because I think gas... It, 
it takes like 30 days to respawn, so we should grab as much as we can. All right. Let's come over here. We'll get a gear. There's always a gear in this camper over here. So let's get that. I'd like to stock up on gears if I can. All right, was that it? Oh, there we go. More scrap right there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Some components and duct tape. Okay, and there you go. There's a couple cigarettes. They are useless in this version of the game, so I just toss them out. Don't need them. And there we go. There's a miss right there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ride over to the White House, and I'm going to sleep up in the tower. And uh, that should uh, that should get us through the mist. And then after that, uh, I'll probably smash up those cars along the road. All right, guys. Well, I'm just finishing up here. I've got quite a bit of uh, cars smashed up. and Oh, my goodness. So many batteries. We do not have a shortage of batteries anymore, as you will see. Yeah, take a look at that. Lot, <laughs> lots of batteries. So um, we're, we're looking pretty good on that. Uh, you can see we got some more um, some more components and some more scraps and stuff. And I'm out of space now. So that's that's beautiful. So I'm always trying to uh, replenish my supply. Just constantly trying to do that. And, and I think that's probably the best way to do it. Otherwise, uh, you, you end up spending a whole day smashing cars. So if you, you smash a little bit here, a little bit there... You're, you're probably better off doing that. And that way, that way you can focus on other things as well. And you're not taking a whole day just to, just to grab car parts and everything. So, definitely, uh, definitely a good idea. Uh, so we're gonna head on back to the base. I've gotta slow down right here because this stuff spawns in and it gets a little crazy here. Sometimes I accidentally flip the truck. I'm also gonna grab the components and scrap that are over here. Might as well do it. Since it's here, get a little bit extra. Okay. Whoa, where are you guys going? Okay. Grab that and that. I don't think this gas has respawned yet. No, not yet. There's one more car over here that we can smash up. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, nice. Looks like a spark plug here. Oh, that's a feather. All right, I'll take the feather, though. I do need feathers. So that is awesome. Okay, cool. Let's save and head on back. So I, I've got to get this meat uh, salted. Otherwise, it's going to go bad. So that is the plan. I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right, we are back in town. I don't see any bandits over here. But I do see a, uh, a Rachel over there against the building and uh, I see a lot of logs here so it looks like Scott looks like Scott was able to work through the whole uh, three hours I don't know looks pretty good I must say he's he's cleared out a decent amount of space over here now where is Scott okay he's over here just just standing here staring okay well good job there Scott you, you did a good job oh, don't be so bashful you, you did a good job all right so um, we're gonna go back to the base we're gonna take our survivors with us um, I'm gonna have to come back over here and grab all these logs. I'm gonna do that off camera though. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that after the video. I'm, I'm not gonna do that right now. I've got plans, big plans. So we're gonna we're gonna park the truck over here for the minute because I want to grab these lockers because they're full of good stuff. Uh, maybe I should put this sledgehammer away. That's probably a good idea. I don't want to smash that uh, that locker full of wonderful stuff. Um, can you like move? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and set that right there. I'll grab this one as well. We're gonna have to make more lockers, guys. I mean, I'm running out of space again. Let's see. I don't need all these batteries in here, so let's grab some of these. We'll leave. Uh, we'll leave one. Okay. And then I have to figure out where I'm gonna put all my uh, my vehicle parts. Oh gosh, I hate when this happens. Okay, there we go. Yeah, maybe we'll put vehicle parts on this wall right here. Or I might just leave this this uh, open right here. I don't know. I haven't decided. I kind of like it open right there because that, that is kind of nice. But I do think I probably want to put some stuff on the wall. So maybe... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet because there's still, there's still other things I have to build down here. Like we still need... 
We still need a, uh, a moonshine still. We still need a repair bench. We still need a reloading bench. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. But uh, I still need to find a place for all that stuff. I'm probably going to put that stuff on this back wall here. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can put lockers right here. I I'm going to have to decide soon, though, because uh, we got got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so this is the stuff that has the food in it. So let's grab this. Okay. And uh, first things... Oh, no, put that gun away. We do not want to shoot anybody's eye out. All right, first things first, let me grab this bio, or the, not the biofuel, but the fat. It's going to make biofuel. We're going to put that in here. Okay. And I'm going to make sure this is filled with firewood, if we have any firewood. We may not have firewood, guys. No, I don't think we have firewood. Here's a good, uh, here's a good fix. All right, make this the base. We'll grab a couple logs, because this needs to be done. Okay. And, uh... Click on this. Firewood. 15. Assign this to Scotty Boy. Come here, freaky deaky Scott. No. No. Over here. Over here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's try it again. Scott. Where, where are you going, Scott? All right. Kate, you're going to do this. Because Scott is uh, hes being difficult. He doesn't want to chop any more wood today. He's already done enough. Kate. Come chop wood. Where are you get? Where are you going? What? What do you guys? You guys don't want to? You guys don't want to chop wood right here? Uh, what's going on? Okay, let's try Rachel. Maybe the stump is in a bed. Hey, hey! You can't go in here. My goodness. Oh, what, Scott, what are you running from? What? <laughs> what is going on? This is this is all goofed up. This is all goofed up. All right. Um. Maybe I should just do this myself. Scott, come on. Just just chop the wood. Scott! It's right here! It's literally right here. Yeah, I think this is in a bad spot. I think this is in a bad spot. Maybe if I... Maybe if I destroy this. Now let's try that. Let's move this out here. Um... Where's a good spot? I think right over here is a nice spot right here. So let's uh, let's do it over here. I don't think he wanted to chop wood with the uh, the window right here. I think he was afraid he was going to break break some glass or something. So let's uh, let's go ahead and try this again. I just got to find it. I think it's uh, it's in one of these. Where is the stump? There's the stump. All right. So we're going to put it right there. Okay. Going to build that. I need one more log. I got plenty over here. There we go. We'll throw that in here. For all this time that I've wasted, I probably could just do this myself. But we're going to have Scott do it. Come on, Scott. I just want you to chop some wood. Where is he? There he is. All right. Let's see if he does it. He's walking, he's walking, he's walking, and no! Okay, wh what's the deal here? Why do you guys not want to work? L let's try Rachel. Okay, Rachel's getting up. She's walking over. And she's walking... Okay, this might, this might be a bug. This doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, we're just going to do this on our own. So, uh, let's see. Cancel. Proceed. Yeah, I think that's a bug. That doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so, this is the next step. We're going to throw eight firewood in here. Okay, and ignite. And that's going to give us three hours of burning time. So that's awesome. Uh, these are going to take, looks like, uh, a little over an hour. Hour and 15 minutes or so. Uh, so, during that time period, let's go ahead and start on this meat. Uh, let's grab four of those. Um, let's see. Toss this in here for now. And uh, the firewood. I think we can keep some of the firewood in the stump, can't we? 
Yeah, we can store that in there for now. There we go. All right, and I need some salt, so let's grab that. I got lots of it. Okay, and now let's go ahead and make some dried meat. There we go. I'm going to make 12 to start out with. And we'll go ahead and toss those on to the drying rack. I think I can fit 18 on here. So we could do six more if we wanted to. I might need to make another drying rack. Let's see how long that took. This has uh, another another 15 minutes. Okay. So how long does how long does this take? 20 minutes. Perfect. Go ahead and do that. Okay. And then let's grab the rest of this. I got one right there. I got two more in here. What are you guys doing? You guys are just acting weird tonight. I don't know what their deal is. All right. We'll throw these into here. There we go. And we'll toss these on here. Okay. I think that'll be good for now. Let's see. How many more meat do we have? Oh, we got six more. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and let's take the lowest percentage. We'll make that into dried meat as well. And then the rest we're going to cook. So let's do that. Uh, dried meat, four. All right, and there's going to be two left over. We'll just toss those in here. And then I'm going to grab all these. And we're going to start cooking cooking as much as we can. Um, let's see. Um, oh, because it's rendered, I can't cook. That's right. forgot about that. All right. Um, well, I could pull these out for a second. Yeah, let's do that. And let's cook this up. We still have an hour left on this, so that's plenty of time. This won't take too long. I could probably take a little drink. Yeah, let's just take drink a little bit. Okay, and this should be almost ready now. It's still raw. What's going on here? Okay, medium. Alright, so that still needs just a little bit longer. Oh man, guys, this is this has been a little bit a little bit of a weird episode. I, mean, I don't know what the uh, the survivors are doing. That they seem to be all glitched out for some reason. You know what? I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a little bit of wood over here. A couple more logs. I'm, I I want to see if they're still glitched out. Let's check on our meat first. This is almost ready. Oh, there we go. Well done. Grab that. I got one more. So we'll cook that down too. Toss you on there. Um, no, there we go. You know what? I can, I can, I can render and cook at the same time. That's right. I, I got. I, I don't know why I was thinking I was in the cooking pot, but yeah, you, you can, you can render and grill at the same time. Because the food goes on the grill stand, um, the fat goes into the uh, the cooking pot. All right, let's see if this works now. Let's let's just do five. Assign work, Scott. Now, for whatever reason, they don't want to. They don't want to work. Kate's right here. Let's see if we can get Kate to do it. No, for whatever reason, they don't want to cut wood. So I, I don't know what the deal is with that. That uh, that might be just a recent glitch. That might be easily fixable. Maybe if you just log out, log back in, you might be able to fix that glitch. But uh, if that if that's a permanent glitch, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a problem. And there's another car here. All right. Um, let's pull out the sledgehammer. These cars seem to come back in like every time I leave the uh, the town and come back, they seem to respawn. Which I'm not complaining about. I do like that. All right, are you done yet? Medium. Still, still needs a little bit longer. I'm gonna throw this salt up here because we don't really need that anymore. So we'll just toss that in there. And uh, let's see the uh, components. Those can go in here. Got a decent amount of components and scrap today, so 
That is wonderful. This is still cooking. Oh man. Let's uh let's see what we got in here. Let's uh grab all this stuff. I think that's done. Is it done? It's done. Alright, there we go. We've got meat. We got meat. We throw all this stuff in here. Throw all this in here. And we are looking great. Beautiful. I still need another locker for um for vehicle parts, because as you can see, we are getting pretty much full on all that stuff. So I, I think I, I think I need a separate locker just for the batteries. Um, some of these are, aren't very good, like the 25%. I think I'm just going to toss those out. Yeah. Let's uh, let's toss... Get, wait, before I do that, can I harvest these? No, can't harvest them for anything. See, that I, I wish we could harvest them for parts. So I'm going to toss the ones that are under 30. And we'll keep these two. There we go. So that's pretty good. Uh, we probably need to eat something. We're getting pretty hungry, so let's go ahead and have a nice steak. Nice bear steak. Fresh. Yummy. And uh, a celebratory pop is definitely in order, so let's go ahead and have one of those. Let's see, 44.7. Uh, what about over here? 42.4, 41.5. Perfect. Celebratory pop. It's been a uh, it's been a good day. It's been a, kind of a weird day, but uh, we did we did get a decent amount of stuff done today. Got some more parts. We got uh, got a bear. And next video, next video. I don't know what we're gonna do. I, I think I want to get that reloading bench up and running. So uh, maybe we'll get that built. Uh, there's a few other things like the repair bench. That, that might be a good idea. Get that built. So maybe we'll, do, we'll we'll build some benches tomorrow. We're may, probably gonna have to make another saw machine. I might, you know what I might do? I might build one over there at the um, at the lumber camp. Have a saw machine over there, and then build uh, another workbench over at the um, over at the lumber camp. That way, whenever Scott's over there, Kate and Rachel will have something to do. They're not just standing around. So maybe we'll do that. We'll get a bunch of benches built. And uh, it won't be too long before we need to start uh, thinking about making some ammo so we can go to the other side of the map, attack those bandits, and then do some more exploring. I don't think the uh, developer has changed too much with the new part of the map. I think it's still pretty much the same. I think he did add some cars and stuff like that, so uh, maybe we'll take some vehicle parts whenever we do go over, and that way we can actually drive around. That'll be kind of nice, as opposed to uh, last time we went over there, we had to walk the whole way across the map and that wasn't very fun so uh, i think we'll leave the video there if you enjoyed it give it a like let me know what you thought in the comments share with your friends subscribe to get more videos and i will see you guys later bye rachel goodbye